Hey everyone, you got Joe and Isaiah from the Automator here. And the other day I, I saw this article and it was talking about Windows 365, and basically Windows in the cloud. Yep. And and I thought, holy hell, you know, before we were worried that IE was dying, now suddenly like is auto hockey gonna die because it's gonna stuff be in the cloud and, and not be nearly as powerful, right? We'd still be able to do some stuff, but if everything's in the cloud, so it got me thinking and and I asked Isaiah, let's just jump on and discuss the implications. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. I think there's a lot on both sides of this. Yes, yes. It, and mainly it depends what your angle is. Like there's a lot of people, and basically the main topic I would expect to see online would be like, there's a lot of people who are concerned about privacy and there's a lot of people who care about convenience. And that's the trade-off, the main trade-off between these type of services. And I think if that debate is, does not come out soon, like I would be like surprised. It is a very common topic um, uh, among well, these kind of services. Yeah. yeah. What I would already argue is between Dropbox and OneDrive and other services like that, we already have a lot of our stuff in the cloud, you know, anyway, right? And again, and this is, this is, why and uh, uh, that's why I'm expecting this debate to resurface. And the point is that when OneDrive, Dropbox, and those kind of services popped up, a lot of people said, "No, I'm not going to use that." So you and I, yeah, we're using it. It's okay. But there's a lot of people who would not use this type of services because basically, uh, one of the things that I read uh, at that time was like, "You don't own anything that is right. on Dropbox yes. or OneDrive." So you just grabbed a document, say for example, and some people do this. I do that, for example. Um, uh, I like to keep a, a, a digital copy of my IDs like my ID, my passport, and so on. Um, because there are some services that require you to identification, these new passport services, so on. Last time it was Facebook. I got locked out for whatever reason. Oh, we need you to take a picture of your passport. So I didn't want to go ahead and take a picture. I already have a picture of it. Um, right. But now I have that saved on OneDrive. Now, they that's their data. They could go ahead and scan those files. Now they have my passport for whatever use they're going to, whatever they decide to use it for. That's the, that's the privacy concern. Like, it is your data, but now, well, it is their data now. <laughs> your important documents, whatever you have, especially things that have to do with cre creative content. I do not know how that works. I cannot comment that much on it, but that's the main uh, concern. Okay, so if I create a document on OneDrive and it is, or or a video and it is on OneDrive, who owns the copyright for that video that I just created? Is it mine, or is it from uh, now belongs to Microsoft? Because in the terms and conditions, it probably if you read it, somewhere <laughs> has to say like everything that is in that uh, OneDrive folder. Uh, is belongs to Microsoft. For example, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but that's the that's the the concern of a lot of people and why they wouldn't use it. When we moved now to Windows 365, now the whole Windows does not belong to you, even though you're paying for it, right? Now anything that is in that computer, in that virtual computer, belongs to Microsoft now, and if they decide to terminate that computer at any point for whatever reason, right? Uh, well, that's the risk. But on the other hand, you have a lot of convenience because now you're not tied to hardware. Uh, all your information is in the cloud. Whatever you do, oh, well, I'm just going to format my hard drive. Yeah, it will not, it will not affect your Windows whatsoever. Oh, actually, case in point, what, a couple of weeks ago, you had an electrical surge that killed your motherboard and your hard drive, apparently. And that's right. thankfully, you know, you, you're already backing things up into the cloud anyway. But that, we it's all, not only would you have not had to worry about your data, but even your computer would have been like, actually, you're just really using something very cheap, like some sort of console, which is ironically, you know, maybe 40 years ago, that was the big push, right? Everything was connected yeah. to servers. People had the, what were they called? They weren't consoles. They called something else. Um, but you had your monitor and keyboard, right? But it was all hooked to a server, um, and you would log in and you had all your stuff. Virtual PCs, right. And and that's one of the things that I was going to kind of like mention. I worked uh, at a call center. I worked in a lot of places. And one of the call centers I worked with, uh, whenever you logged in in the computers, they were very old computers. But whenever you're logging in, you're not logging into that computer. You were connecting to a virtual machine network. somewhere else, right? No, but not even not even a virtual network. It was a virtual machine. 
So whenever you logged out, that PC was wiped out. It was wiped clean. So you log in, you have all your information, and then you log out, that PC is wiped clean. And somebody else could log in and he has all his information. Um, if you don't know, this is a little bit of a tidbit. You know um, that in Windows 10, you have these two folders like app data local and app data roaming. That's the idea behind the roaming folder that you, whenever you log into another computer within the network, everything that is in roaming gets copied over. So that has been working like that for a long time. Now what they're doing is scaling it up to personal use, probably. I don't know yet how they're going to do it, but personal use in the sense of you have a virtual computer on the internet and now you don't have to worry about anything. It doesn't matter where you log in, your whole computer is going to always look the same. Yeah, and what we were saying too, if I if I happen to be like, hey, Zayce, I'm going to come over to the Dominican Republic and see you for a little while, I could literally log in under like a system like this and have access to everything, right? And, and also, everything stays the same. Yeah. <laughs> another really big one is we were talking about this right now. You're using you know a laptop while you're fixing your other one, and it's not nearly as powerful, right? Well, that all yeah. goes away if you're using the cloud servers for the actual pro, you know uh, pro, power. Like exactly. Right. You're, you're, you're only your only limit would be your well the screen and your internet bandwidth that's all (laughs) so 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 basically Uh, how fast uh, the information is traveling that's all and this is where it gets to me really fascinating because you and i before we started recording this we were talking about having local files and this and that and like what happens if you run out of space and where they give it to you and you had local files but if you actually have like the other day i was telling you in vimeo i was uploading our, our videos there and i realized they had a connection to Dropbox. And because where I live, my internet sucks. I logged into Dropbox and it transferred my files to them in a second. And because they didn't have to come from my computer. Yeah, it, yeah, it was not it was from your server. computer. Yeah, directly. Yeah. Yes. Like, damn, that was fast. It was awesome. <laughs> right. So again, there's, uh, there's pros and cons, right? We like the privacy is a big con. I, the other one, you have to have internet, right? I yes. mean, then, internet then if you, you, yeah, your internet goes down, your computer is down. Yeah, and that's the right. Speed, which is another really good point too. Is like depending on what you're doing, it can be you know problematic. Um, yeah, in what you're doing in the speed. Now, circling back to the first question you made, like, okay, is Auto Hotkey going to die? Yeah. I really doubt it because basically it is a Windows machine. Right. Uh, uh, as far as I could tell, it's just a normal Windows machine. They are just instead of you paying for. Um, uh, uh, you know, a, a key for Windows, right? As we used to do, like you just pay one-time fee for your Windows key. And now you have Windows, a lot of updates until the new version comes in, which you would have to pay an upgrade fee or whatever. Now you are paying for a monthly service. And this is mm-hmm. like the same trend that we're looking at uh, in any and all the other uh, uh, systems that everybody's cashing in on the monthly fee instead of a one-time price. So, yeah. yeah. But but more so, I'd even say, because I, I, my, my friend who goes around to large companies and moves all their data off of the servers into the cloud, it's still the same principle, right? Yeah. Is why are we paying for having all these servers locally and the IT people to support all this stuff? You know, when we can just put it in the cloud and we don't have to buy the servers, it's all they guarantee the uptime. I mean, uh, granted, there's fees right like you're saying but yeah hey you know what especially with the headcount kind of thing that might save you a lot of money you know for a business for Um, business and and that's one of the the key things in here so uh there is a huge difference between the the normal user usage of a computer than uh an employee at a company so one of the things that uh caught my attention is the fact that uh those uh systems that they're talking about they have very uh low uh in my opinion hard drive sizes like 120 gigabytes of storage it's not that much for a normal user some people uh who download stuff from the internet they can download one terabyte of data in one day, like very quickly. So uh, 120 gigabytes of data is not that much. But if you're an employee and the only thing that you use that computer for is doing the work that you're required to do, you're not going to be downloading stuff. 120 gigabytes is a lot of the space, right? right? 
However, and, and, and I think you'll appreciate this too, because it's, because you and I do, you and I, without even knowing it, after talking more and more and learning from each other, we do very similar stuff on how we're storing our data, this, that. And neither of us puts our main files like on our Windows drive where it's installed. Right. No, it's no, 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 no. That's for, yeah, yeah. That's, wow, that's right. for sure. This yes. could be the same exact thing where you're right. We might down, quote unquote, download it, but we're really but, not putting it onto that compute, that Windows that you know, file. Now, now, <laughs> yeah, and, the, and that, that brings up a very interesting question now. And, and this is something that I will, I do not know if they have mentioned anything about it. And at least in the announcements that we have seen, I do not see anything about it. But um, right now, uh, there is something called virtualization, right? Now, uh, you could have a Windows virtual machine on your computer. I don't know if you have played with VirtualBox, um, yep. you, those kind of things, right? Um, so even though you create a virtual box, you could connect to your real hardware, yes. you know, like right. your, your yeah. HD right. and so on. Now, right. what I'm thinking is probably they will do some kind of uh, uh, platform that allows the browser to access your real hardware. Like say, for example, you have a, a two terabyte sure. hard drive. Right. And right. even though you're using Windows on a browser, Right, and you're logging in, and you're using it online. Probably that Windows machine will have access to your real hardware through the browser. Might happen. I, oh, I'm not really I, sure. They haven't actually mentioned any about it, but I think it is in theory possible, right? Um, and in that case, then we have the same thing that you just mentioned. Like you're going to be running Windows on your browser, but your data, whatever you want to actually keep for yourself, you might have it in a in a normal hard drive. That might be the case, you know. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that... and the and the other thing which I think we sort of alluded to or mentioned a bit, and it reminds me of a, a whole problem when people talk with AutoHotKey and like, oh yeah, I'm, I can help you with it. We can help automate almost any program. Oh well, I'm logging in through a Citrix control. Yeah, okay. Well, it, it's not going to be nearly as easy because you know. We... <laughs> but yeah, you know, I always say, well, do you actually have access to that Citrix server? Can you put AutoHotKey on that server? Because if you can. <laughs> Suddenly we're back in business, right? Yes. And it's the same principle here, right? Too. If, if exactly. I would hate to have it where with I have to, you know, try and do something here and connect it, look at the screen and automate stuff. That would suck. But right. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a problem. The server. Then we're back into be, we can automate the crap load of the stuff. Oh. Yes, that's right. And now, um, one of the oh, things. Oh, I just thought of another one. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. is, you know how we, it's one of the things that you and I always talk about, um, with, Auto hotkey and explaining this stuff kind of stuff. To, we auto hot. We we auto hotkey. We <laughs> automate desktop application, desktop things. And hey, like you know, our poor man's drip campaign we're doing. Your yeah. computer has to be yeah. on. Well, this could take care of that whole thing as well, right? Oh Suddenly, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Then now, now that this particular computer is always going to be on, right. it's always going to be accessible. So right. there, it, we would. Uh, not have that issue any longer, right? Now, on the other hand, uh, what I was going to mention as well is the fact uh, they have different types, uh, uh, so, so far as I could see, they have probably going to have different plans available, right? Absolutely. And there's different sizes and so on. But one of the things that uh, stood out to me is like, for example, the enterprises plans, the enterprise plans are where you will find support for four or eight different PCs. And for example, the business plan gets you support for two PCs. And I'm thinking probably, even though you have one plan, you can actually have three or four machines on your own account. It's like having three computers. No, yeah. just from the sun, which means that you could have stuff separated into work related stuff yeah. and yeah. personal related stuff. Yeah. We don't, so, so this opens a lot of interesting possibilities. Uh, I would even argue to take it a step further, which is still in the ballpark of where you were going. Cause I know mm -hmm. from talking to my, my friend that does this where he puts people in the cloud mm -hmm. and how, especially with Amazon services, they can scale up and suddenly do a lot more. You know, we could say, "Oh, you know what? I'm doing some video stuff. I'm doing something that's very intensive today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for the Ferrari version of whatever. Yeah. Uh, give me the, give me the fast yeah. one, right? They'll, that'll, it may take a while, but they'll have it that way where we can say, "Hey, you know what? I need a super fast machine today. I'm gonna pay a little extra and I'm gonna switch over." I'm just to gonna it. have that one, and then later on when I'm finished with that, then I just drop yeah, my, I'm my doing my blog post. I don't need anything, right? I'm just <laughs> typing some notes, whatever, yeah, exactly. right? So, so, yeah, this is a very interesting uh, movement 
uh, on the part of Windows, what they're trying to yeah. do. Now, this is not new. This is just kind of like continuation of a bigger trend, which is most things are actually moving online. So we started with... Uh, hard drives, floppy disks, and so on. The internet came along. Now we have cool. web pages, and now stuff is moving toward having uh, everything on the on the internet. So, in, in this article, the first article that I had started reading about it, it said, in an internal memo from 2005, Microsoft's former, you know, archi- uh, blah, 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 had talked <laughs> about doing stuff in the cloud cloud so yeah yeah um, so this is not yeah <laughs> so, so, so basically this is not really new it's not a new concept it's just kind of like the natural step of what they have been doing for years now now this movement of one drive dropbox uh you know google drive those were the first steps now uh most of the software is going online now you cannot have for example adobe without having an adobe account Okay. Before you could just go to their web page, purchase a key. You have Adobe on your computer and you have the key. That's it. Now, even if you purchased it, you right. have to connect to your account, right? So everything is moving Software towards is the only. Like, yeah. yes. that, the, that article I read it also equated to because they said like Xbox was like the trial run of this because now you, you don't have like even DVD drives in your game, right? You just, you can you buy it, you download it, or you get the code and you enter it, but you don't quote unquote get the software, right? It's, that's right. It's in the now, cloud. yeah, now, try pirating that, right? That's- <laughs> now let's go ahead and put our team foils on and let's go ahead and think <laughs> like, <laughs> like one of these guys. Yeah, what, so. what would have been really funny is if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and put one in like that. Now, now, here's the thing. Now, as you have everything moving into this uh, uh, online space in which you have no control over it, that right. means that, and, and, and basically, I don't know if you have seen uh, Black Mirror, which is a series that... I haven't like watched it yet, no. Yeah, no, th- that's a very interesting uh, technique, uh, like uh, um, uh, computer-related, everything that has to do with technology. Technology-related uh, grim outlooks. Everything, everything in that series is like a very bad outlook what bad stuff can happen with technology. That's, that's mainly what, what is going on. Now, one of the interesting things about thinking about this is like, um, in the future, uh, they have control over everything. And one of the things is that, I don't know if you have noticed this social credit kind of thing going on. Sure, right. So, 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 so everything that you do, um, can affect you online. Like, for example, you behave like a jerk. They could, uh, close your Uber account, right? Something like that, right? Now, if we get into a point in which our, our, uh, uh, society moves towards a social credit, like, like you have with the credit cards, okay? So if your credit card, you know, your credit score is bad, you cannot ask for loans. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. Just imagine that now everything is online and now you have a credit or social credit score. And if your social credit score goes below a certain threshold, they would close all your accounts or you cannot access to, oh, yeah. you, you will not have access to a lot of stuff. Like this is, this is like one of the things that people who think like that uh, are envisioning. Like, okay, hold on. Now, now, now our overlords will have control of everything, you know? That, yeah. That is the critical point, right? Is most people say, well, I don't, I'm not doing anything bad, so I don't really care. The problem is, who the person in power changes and suddenly you you may not agree have the same beliefs and I, you know, I have very strong political beliefs system you and i don't even talk about it right because it's yeah, not relevant yeah. but i see stuff and i go i disagree with this stuff i feel this way but i still think they should have the right to say with it i don't think you know i think in the u.s the first amendment should you know we should be able to say what we want and and disagree and have a debate but squashing it down and that's kind of what you're talking to the ability to just say you know what I don't really think, you know, the way he phrased that, he was kind of being a jerk or being whatever. And we're going to... And now you know, your credit that. score, now your credit score lowers yeah. because of that. Now you lose access to your windows. Yeah. That's kind of like weird, you know? <laughs> well, it's really, see, the thing is, uh, did you ever read 1984 Orwell's 1984 Yes, yes, book? yes, 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 sure. It is spot on. This is the beginnings of, like, mind thought control, right? Because well, now, that's... let's say this goes into place, suddenly... I'm curtailing my words a bit because I'm worried that my, and the second like that starts happening, 
you know, that well, you're, that, you're right. That's, that's the funny thing. And the reason why I brought up this point into this topic is because it is already happening. You have noticed Absolutely. how, how, how things no. on Twitter go crazy and that person loses his yeah. job and loses everything. Right. And, sure. and you see, so, yeah. so, so it is yeah. already a thing. It, 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 for me now, it is no. not that far fetched to think like, no, one day, if, if well, you have your you windows. Have yeah, so, you know, they so, have the score in China, right? It actually yeah. exists. This, this this social credit score exists in China. Now, now, and now, just, lo- now, the state, now just you know. think about this. Now think about this. Yeah, one day, you, you just just check this out. Just think about this. You just one day turn on your computer, and you cannot access your files, your work, your emails, yeah. your photos right. because something you tweeted five years ago. Uh, yeah created some outrage right. and now your credit score, your social score went down certain level and now everything doesn't work. It is kind of like a weird stuff to, to talk about, but having everything online, that's the type of things that those people actually care about. Like they're scared of that, which yeah. well, you know, you're frankly is not, it's not like that far fetched. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the whole angle that you talked about earlier about the like copyright, not copyright, uh, but, but, um, Right, ownership, who owns, ownership, uh, right, yeah, yeah. ownership of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Uh, that's that's exactly why I brought that like, point because so, everything is what, owned probably by Microsoft. Well, if you if you yeah. turn on this computer, is very likely that everything that you do on that computer is yeah. owned or by Google, Google. Or whatever, right? Or yeah. Google. And, yeah. By the way, like Chromebooks is this that is basically the same idea. Like Chromebooks is right. just like everything is just online. All your apps are online. You don't own anything. Chromebooks usually do not have like a lot of storage because they're not. Th- the point of that system is not to have like a local thing. It's basically no. you just access the apps on the browser. That's the only thing you have. A browser. That's the only thing you own, a browser, you know? So, so the Chromebook, uh, uh, Chrome OS kind of stuff is basically, uh, like trials of this kind of things that we're looking at right now, which is uh, for me, in my case, I sometimes I rather have the convenience, especially because of the place I live in. In here, things can go crazy at any moment. I don't have power. I don't have, uh, you know, uh, there was a power surge, killed everything, stuff like that, because things in here are not built with good quality. And everything can happen at any point. I want to have the peace of mind that I could just tell you, no, I will continue working. And I just bring up a laptop and start working. That's it. Um, but for the people who are scared about their uh, uh, ownership and privacy, then this is kind of like well, a very big news, right? Yeah. Now I can I can tell you firsthand it's not quite the same thing but it's close enough. When I was at TI, I was working and I was trying to get involved with another team. I was trying to help their sales and marketing group, um, and I had created something on LinkedIn that would drive you know my out of the twenty five thousand employees at TI, I always had the number one viewed profile, right? Like okay, yeah, doing, yeah, okay, a little, tool. and so and I had a couple of things and I offered. To the sales guy, I said, hey, I'd like to let your sales team use this, right, as a way to help generate sales and let me work with them. And so I said, but I want to make it clear, this is my tool. I'm letting you use it for free. I don't care about that. But it's my tool. You know, TI doesn't own it. And so he's like, well, why don't you talk to your boss and make sure that they're cool with this? I said, okay. So I talked to her. She and, and her and I didn't never got along, but she she talked to the lawyers. And the lawyers basically came back and said, oh, not only – you know, does he, does, uh, now I don't need to think of how to phrase this. Um, but basically they said, anything I do, even in my off time is owned by them. Oh, wow. Even if it's not at all related to my work, it's owned by them. And I'm like, what the, and she's, she, to her credit, she's just like, this is, this is what they told me. You know, she's like, I don't know what to tell you, Joe. This is what they told me. And she's like, I, you know, she was flat, really surprised too. And I'm like, that, that I guess is, I'm not that sharing is, it. You know? Yeah, that yeah. is. That is. But that is so, that's so, the point. It's like companies, it, you exactly. know, that was my direct company I work for. They're saying that. So just think about now if Google. other companies actually <laughs> have, <laughs> yeah. like, Just yeah, imagine you know Google. Uh, so, so basically, yes. Um, um, and this is the funny thing. Uh, what I think they uh, explained is like, you created that on your off time outside of our computers. But the moment it touches our network, our no. computers. No. No. What it was off time, not even related to my job, but they said 
anything I think of, anything I work on, it's their yeah, IP. Yeah, but, but, and that's, but, but, but this is this is yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is what I'm what I'm trying to under what I'm trying to say is like, okay, imagine that you created a, a tool, but you never brought it to um, IT. It's still there. That's, uh, that's something that I do not understand. <laughs> like, I, I would know. understand. That's what, what, what I'm saying. The same thing. Yeah, what I would like, understand by that, like what I would understand by that is like, okay, you created the tool on your computer, on your house, on off time, right? It's yours. Right. It's okay. But if you come here and put it in my computer, that sure. automatically becomes yeah. my, my, my yeah. stuff. And right? I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. Th that's what I, that's what I would understand. Like, okay. My, my but friend, if it is like, no, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. My friend said, I forget exactly what he said, but he's like, you should, you should find a, a tool that'll, scan porn sites and do whatever and then be like okay you guys own this because i <laughs> thought of it your... <laughs> yeah that's your computer i think i think i think they, they would not they would not own yeah. that one i think <laughs> right <laughs> but is so, this is so a anyway, very interesting it's, it's really, topic it's yeah real world. yeah yeah it, it has real anyway. world implications it is a very interesting topic this announcement actually came very recently and they say that it's going to be available on august the 2nd so this is something that is for right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of laugh, though, because if you've been following the Windows 11, like their mm -hmm. launching of that, it's been horrific, right? They they first, it kind of snuck out, and then they they kept trying to change stuff. So we'll, we'll see. But I, I do think yeah. it's in the next year, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be starting to see this stuff. That's pretty cool. Right. That's right. And, you know, I'd say is I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm big into, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a very open person about my personal life, which, you know, you and I talk, I don't care, right? I'm very open. About it. However, when it comes to like people just having it without asking, like I'm very private. I don't want things, you know, that I want to be the one to say it's okay to give that information away, not just yeah. have it stolen from me. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's I understand. So, so this, this whole topic is very uh, important. Even if you are not going to use it, or if you're going to use it, if you're an auto hotkey user or not, this will right. affect you in the future, whether you like it yeah. or not, because uh, this is the path moving forward. And at well, some point, everybody's yes. going to move to yeah. it. Like, well, and, and exactly because, and, the, and, you know, we should have covered those a bit more, but coming from Microsoft and other software companies' perspective, it's a huge win for them, right? There's so many benefits for them. And bigger learn. companies, bigger companies also benefit a lot sure. from that right. because they don't they, they they reduce a lot of costs. They they will not have a lot of uh, maintenance issues right. because whenever you upgrade uh, Windows or something, you know. But if it is a service like this, things are gonna always going to be running smooth, and you don't have to care about it basically. Right. So, and that's where it gets back to I, I think you can't just put your head in the sand and say it doesn't affect me because. It's going to one way or the other. Uh, at some point, right? Maybe not right now. Right. Um, cool. I, I, I never thought like I, I again. I was on that uh, call center almost yeah. ten years ago, yeah. logging in into a virtual computer, and I never thought that Windows would be probably something like you log into a virtual computer. I never thought about that, um, and that is uh, it is scary how things move, right? But. That's the way of the future because of convenience. I know why they're doing it. Well, it is said, like there are some, yeah, and there's some benefits for, to us as well, right? But it's it's still but it's, again, you have to the choice. You, yeah. you have to be careful and you have to be aware of oh, what are the pitfalls on, on this kind of services totally. and what are the, the good things about it. Yeah. Um, hopefully, um, and, and I don't have much faith in politicians and stuff, but hopefully, yeah. at some point. They get in front of it a bit and say, or, or, hey, you know what? Let's, let's even take a step back and say the people like Microsoft and Google stuff say, you know what? We need to address this and we need to be very clear about what we own and what we can do with the access to the data and who we can. Well, give it to. the, 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 the companies will actually pull to their uh, benefit. Sure. So always pulling well, to whatever it, benefit. But here's the thing. Them. But you at know, some point, they know that if they lose right. the, their their status, they would fall. So they yes. would, at yeah. some point, have to compromise and, with and the user the base, Let, right? Let's say you and I create this really cool AutoHotKey script that um, does something amazing. And they say, well, technically, we own that because... Yeah, exactly. Right? Now, all it needs is two or three of those stories coming out for companies to bail on Windows left to right and center, right? So right. that's why, yeah, that's even right. though I understand your point of, like, who owns this, at the same time, 
they you know, know be, right, that's exactly. a one-shot deal, right? You do that yes. a couple times, and, and suddenly, they're gonna, yeah, they're going to bail like crazy. So it, I, at least we have that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, they can blatantly steal your fortune, right? I mean, the, yeah. Because, yeah. Well, the only, well, in general. So if somebody wants to go out with uh, kind of like a positive note on this, is like, well, now you will not have to worry about where you're going to run Windows because you will be able to run it in any type of computer because they, you don't need the hardware any longer. You just need a keyboard yeah, well, like and a, a keyboard and a monitor and everything right. else is handled online, right? So uh, that's the good, the, the good takeaway. Like, uh, it's going to be yeah, okay. Upgrades, you're going to be able to be okay. You don't have to worry about replacing your computers and um, anything that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, the speed, like there's different levels of speed. I mean, out here in the country right now, I don't have great internet speed, but someday I will. Uh, but <laughs> again, if, if actually you're connecting to another server on like Dropbox's servers, I don't have to upload my files because they're doing server to server stuff. I mean, that can be so much faster because that bandwidth, that alone, that's a huge uh, bottleneck, right? That, yes, that kind of stuff. It is. It so is. yeah, there's, there are pluses. It's just, there's a lot of minuses as well. Um, and the thing is, right now, it's we don't know what in the world is going to be happening, right? So it's just a lot right. of uncertainty. That's right. We will see what, what the announcements are going to be. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. Good talk. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for watching that video. And if you're not currently a subscriber on my YouTube channel, you can go to this URL above my head here and subscribe. Also, if you are subscribed, you might want to also change the notifications to make sure they're set to all. Uh, that way you get alerts because, you know, YouTube turns off these things and you don't get notified. So if you're interested in this, check it out. Thank you. Cheers.